Uh, we just put in at Ditto Landing again. And essentially, since I'm out here solo, I really just want to concentrate on pretty much square one. You know, and starting with this side of the marina, I don't think we've ever searched it, but we're gonna cover every square inch of this marina, make sure he didn't go in around this bend anywhere, and then we're gonna head out to the river. I mean, right now we're looking at 10 feet, and uh, I just went over something. It might be a boat, because if somebody was, oh, I take it back, it's one of those. You could see the uh, bottom of the boats. But uh, yeah, 10 feet. So I'm gonna scan this whole area right over here where the road is really good just to make sure. Man, it is an incredibly hot day. Lots of clouds. Kinda of hoping for a cloudy day, but whatever. So you can see right over here, that's the shoreline, which is right over there. So I'm not missing anything driving this far out. So I'll definitely be able to see a car. And all this right here is the rocky ledge that they build. They build it down, you know? So usually a car will wreck, it'll either sit on these or it'll make it all the way to the bottom of the rocks. That's what I've, that's from what I've seen. All right, this was the spot. I mean, last time when we went live, we was on that road parked where that truck was on the other side, checking with the RC boat. And I was talking about searching this. So this is one of the spots I wanted to double check. Cause I don't, I don't remember searching this spot, but I, you know, obviously I could be wrong. But uh, you know, better safe than sorry. I'd hate for him to be sitting here this whole time and we're doing circles around him. Yeah, it's like eight feet right now, almost nine feet. It'd be very easy to see a vehicle in there and uh, I'm not seeing anything. So that's a good thing. At least we didn't miss something. I'm gonna try and turn this thing around and then head out to the river. I just slipped a good U-turn right there. And so I got, I literally got every inch of this water right here. So definitely no vehicle right here. So I'm, pr I'm confident now, you know, we didn't miss anything. So now we're gonna go do the same thing out in the river. Double check our spots and then check some new spots. See if we can find something. So we're down quite a ways from the marina entrance. We've been searching this entire stretch because there is a road up here and I think it's restricted access. But I've seen some people up there picnicking so who's to say you can't get a car out here? So like, I don't know. I'm just checking everywhere and double checking spots. Now up here a ways is where we pulled out those three cars on Wrecked and Recovered. And uh, I want to double check because there were four cars total last time we was here, we checked. The one car we left behind was a very old Cadillac and it was way downstream and it was rotten to the core. It's been sitting there for a long time. That's why we chose to leave that there. Plus, we didn't have a way to get it out. Uh, the lift bags we have are garbage, so uh, they're not lifting that car up. But uh, we're working on a lift bag situation as we speak, so don't worry about that. But uh, so anyway, when I'm cruising up here, what I want to see is one vehicle and that's it. We'll go all the way around this island in the center of the river and uh, make sure this whole section's clear. Then we're gonna shoot over to the other side and float downstream along that side. We haven't even searched that side and come to find out there's a road that runs probably a good mile right next to the river. So we'll check that out really good and uh, see if we can find some. Now we're still cruising along down this way and check out what I just came across. We went directly over it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's what a boat looks like underwater. It's upside down. It's split in two because we went right over it. So each side of the sonar is getting that shot. So you look really close. You can, you can totally tell where the propeller is, where the motor and the boat. It's pretty cool. That even looks like a trailer, honestly, that goes with it. Wouldn't be surprised. So there's that one little boat harbor right there. And just up that way is where we pulled out all the cars should be coming up on this vehicle pretty quick now fingers crossed there's only one vehicle out here and we didn't miss one so that feels stupid uh, everybody makes mistakes i guess looks like we're gonna go right over it oh no that's another boat see we just went right over top of another boat directly underneath us so there's two underwater boats i think this is the car we're just now coming by I think that was the car. Check out over here. I think there's another boat right there. Sure doesn't look like a car though, does it? Could be mistaken. You know, after looking at that, I mean, it would be a long shot, but there's the boat ramp. I'd almost say we could get that car out. It would just be a lot of rope. 
and like I said it's rotting so I don't know if it would come out in one piece but it might be worth a shot if anything whenever we get the new bags we'll be able to float it and get it out that's got to be a boat another boat we have to start pulling boats out. I've seen three underwater since we've been here. The thing that sucks about boats is we do want to pull them out. We have no way to get rid of them. Uh, fiberglass boats, they're, fiberglass is hard to get rid of. It's just like tires. That's why everybody dumps all this crap in the river, because out of sight, out of mind. But, uh, so, but I don't know. If we can figure out a way to get rid of them without breaking the bank, that'd be cool. And if some of these boats we're seeing are John boats, are aluminum, it'd be worth it to pull them out. So we might start doing that too. So we got three right off the bat right there that we can pull out. And luckily all I saw was one car. So it looks like we actually got the other three out and we didn't miss any. So that's the boat ramp and it is clear. So I, you know, we're just going to keep going and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just clear this stretch. I don't see any other access points to be honest with you, but we're going to go around this island and then search the other side. Now we're back kind of where we started, but we're on the other side of the river. And you can see where we're at. We're on the other side of the bridge. Over there is Ditto Landing. And we're gonna check this side really good. Cause we never checked this side before. So uh, I think it's worth a shot. Definitely see if there's something over here. I mean, right off the bat, I think there's a little boat, but not looking for boats, looking for cars. Let's start searching. bat nothing right there be a really good spot to launch a car off I am going to do another pass just cuz just cuz just cuz I can all right well right off the bat didn't see nothing off where this bridge was at that's the place where I wanted to check but I'm gonna heap keep I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep heading upstream and I'm gonna check this whole bank where this road is at you never know all right we've been searching for a couple hours now and we've cleared the other side where the long road goes along nothing there definitely a sketchy place though because I don't think there's a guardrail on that whole road but didn't see nothing there. So now I've zipped up to this one spot. I don't know, it looks like they're building something here, but check it out. I mean, you can see the bank right there. They're leveling it out. They're dumping rocks and crap everywhere here. Uh, I just shot in the dark, but I figured I'd come up here and search this section really good. For some reason this car might've got thrown out here, pushed off this bank. I don't know, but We'll check this, then up here on the left is the entrance to the Flint River, or actually where the Flint River like runs into this river. You know, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go up that as far as we can, scan it really good, see if we can find anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Flint River is new territory. We've never been over there to really search it. Uh, we searched one little spot with the RC boat last time we was here, didn't find anything. But uh, I got the boat in the water, so we might as well scan it really good see if there's anything out there all right so i'm just getting to the end of this one spot here but i noticed something on my sonar i wanted to show you guys that i think it's i think it's uh i mean it starts way back here it's just a mess right so you guys can see all that but then you start getting up here a little bit more and right about here it was a no-brainer i think these used to be railroad tracks that ran next to the river before they flooded it because they dammed this thing up so it's a lot higher than it used to be so oh, i just think that's pretty cool I'll just show you guys definitely you can see the railroad ties and the rails and stuff kind of cool all right we just got down here to the entrance to the flint river if that's proper terminology but back there's the big river now we're creeping in here i mean right now it's like almost 20 feet but i'm sure it's going to get a lot shallower we're shooting 100 feet each way so we'll be able to cover this entire river one pass. So we'll go back as far as we can. I know it gets really shallow, but there are a couple boat ramps back here. Now we definitely should check this spot out because they know that there's cars back here. I don't know how they know, but uh, we'll check and confirm. If there is cars, then we'll dive them. I don't know if this video we're gonna dive it because I'm all by myself. And uh, 
granted in the past I have dove by myself but uh I don't know I might have to bring Adam back in on this if I do find anything to dive but we'll cross that bridge when we get there hey right, we've made it back here up there up top there's a road I don't think there's a guardrail on it I zipped up here to look I think I just seen a vehicle somewhere really close right here let's see I'm shooting 80 each way so hopefully this uh get a better shot I'm pretty darn sure that's a vehicle kind of look like a truck though let's see what this shot will get us let's see right there that that's a car it's definitely a looks like a hatchback man it's right there that's like right there let's turn around and see if I can get a better shot of that definitely looks like a vehicle that really blows my mind because like man there's a lot of woods right here. I don't see how a car could have got there. Right there, there's a little open spot. Chances are this is a really old vehicle. It's been here a long time. We've had a lot of locals tell us that uh, there's vehicles out here. So this could be a known vehicle. I just don't know. I'll try and get right here without hitting this branch. Right, let's check out the sonar again. I know there's a glare. I'm not recording the screen. Sorry, sorry. Let's see if we can like go right over it. Maybe we'll get a really good picture of it. We just went over whatever it is. It looks like a hatchback or something. So you look at it sideways like that. Yeah, it kind of looks like a hatchback. I'll have to put the live scope in, take a look at it that way, but it's you can see that long line that's that that's that stump that's sticking out of the water so it's really close to that it's definitely a vehicle so there's the there's that tree stump looking right at it so there's the vehicle Tell you what, it definitely doesn't look like a bike. I mean, it's definitely a vehicle because you can see the wheel right there. I don't think it's a Camry. Looks like the roof's caved in too. Let's cruise over here. Yeah, stop right there. Let's see if we can find it again. There it is. Whatever it is, it looks wrecked, you know? I can't, can't tell though for the life of me what it is. Let's get a little closer. I mean, you can see a wing on it and everything. The hood's up in the windshield. Back up a little bit. All right, there we go. Yeah, you can see the hood is smashed up into the windshield. Man, that looks like an old muscle car, to be honest with you. It's got a hatch on it. There's the wheels. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't, I definitely don't think it's a Camry, but uh, it's definitely a vehicle we could dive on, see if we can figure out what it's doing there. But we do have one car. I'm pretty curious about that one car. I don't think it came off this boat ramp. I think it came off the road. It looks very old. It looks like a muscle car, to be honest with you. If I, if I had to guess, I'd say older car, muscle car, not a Camry, but we'll still dive it. Um, I am by myself. And I don't think it's the Camry, and I don't even have my dive gear with me right now. So we're going to put a bookmark in this one. It's going to be a to be continued. And uh, we'll get Adam back out here. And then uh, we'll dive this car, see what the story is behind it. You never know. It could be a car accident from a long time ago, unsolved case. Who knows? It could be a million things. More than likely, it's stolen, abandoned, the usual stuff. But you never can tell until you actually dive the car. So. We'll do that at a later date. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you made it this far in the video, 
Atta boy, I'm really glad you guys stuck around to the end. I am still running that GoFundMe for the RC boat version 2.0. You're halfway there. I got a, I've already bought a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna start building it very soon. Make sure you click the links in the description if you wanna help out. And until we meet again, my name is Jeremy. I'll see you guys on that next video. Wow.